we're going to do a little discussion here on the different styles of accordions, accordion music, polkas, and we've got three of the best here to tell us about it. Who have we got? My name is Bob Kravis. Joe Novak. I'm Joe Valencic and I'm president of the National Cleveland Style Polka Hall of Fame and Museum. Welcome. We're having a reception today for the uh, Slovenian ambassador uh, coming here from Washington, D.C. Uh, Joe and Bob have uh, agreed to perform for the reception and uh, they're going to perform some Cleveland style music, Cleveland style polka music. Around America there's maybe a half a dozen different styles of polka dance music and there's one that came from this Cleveland area. It's uh, based in Slovenian folk songs that immigrants brought here over a hundred years ago. But then it combined with influences from jazz, ragtime, uh, pop music, uh, country and western music, and it became a really popular American dance style in the years after World War II. There are three different types of accordions that uh, uh, are, are played in the Cleveland style. Uh, Bob over here has a piano accordion, and this is basically like set up like a piano or an organ. It's portable entertainment. He's got the bellows with the button-operated bass keys, and when he pulls it in and out, it produces a lot of sound. Now Joe here has a chromatic accordion. No, it's a button. It, this is the button accordion. A button accordion uh, is only only can play three keys based on how many uh, keyboards you have. And what makes this unique, it works like a harmonica. When you pull the bellows in, a note will have one sound, and when you pull them out, it makes a different sound. So it's because of the rhythmic action, it creates a, 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 a rhythm that's uh, popular for dance music, for folk songs, for simpler music. Um, also, it's easier to play because you have uh, the keys are closer together. You just have to figure out the chord sequences, and you can really cover a lot of territory. Now, if I were to go to say California or uh, Slovenia and said Cleveland style polka, would they know what that is, or is they'll, that they'll know it also as Slovenian style because it's based in, in Slovenian folk music. If you go to California, if you go to Detroit, Minnesota, Western Pennsylvania, they all know the Cleveland style. Or the Slovenian style, and there are different. It's there are different bands all over the country. Maybe about 200 that still play this particular type of American music. And, and what's different about Cleveland style? Cleveland style is ballroom style dancing. Uh, it comes out of uh, Central Europe, Austrian polkas and waltzes from the previous century, uh, just updated with American rhythms. Uh, it, the accordion takes the lead in a polka band. You might have a, a, a banjo and a bass guitar or a bass uh, doing the rhythm. They'll have a drum, uh, maybe even a saxophone. And somehow it all comes together um, with uh, some great danceable music. It's good time music. People dance it to just have a good time. Probably the best known player was Frankie Yankovic, America's Polka King. Uh, in the years after World War II, he had two million selling hits, Just Because and the Blue Skirt Waltz. He had them 15 years before Frank Sinatra had his first, first golden hit. So it's still popular in cities like Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, Pittsburgh. 